All right, you guys, we're on the Baldwin side of town and it's, it's starting to pick up over here too. It's January 19, 2021. Yee we're having fun. Cruising, doing some work while coops, dropping my glasses and cruising and, and dropping more. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the end down here. Forget about it. Forget about it, eh? Forget about it. Barranco. This is crazy because I grew up in Orange County and I used to go to Irvine all the time. I actually lived in Irvine for a little bit and Barranca Parkway was a big road out there and then there's another I know there's the same roads in so many towns but it just caught me off guard this one. Okay so this is the Baldwin area to the left but we're not going to go through there because most of you are not going to be going through there so we're not going to go through there right now. But this is Highway 38 straight ahead. And then when you make the left right on here, that's Big Bear Boulevard. So now we're on Big Bear Boulevard from the start, from the end of Highway 38, guys. Oh yeah. So we're just gonna do this drive all the way across town. There was a lot of sliding and slipping right here last storm. It was bad. It was really bad right here. Cars were sliding down that whole thing and just not making it. They, they'd hit the they'd hit the edge here. Some poor car just kept on getting hit by every car sliding. Pretty sad. Pretty sad, my friend. city right now you guys heading back to the other side of town side of town that typically gets more snow Big Bear Lake and they are two different cities you guys Big Bear City and Big Bear Lake the postal zip codes for Big Bear Lake or 92315, and then Big Bear City is 92314. And I believe Sugarloaf and Fonskin have their own. I know Fonskin has their own. I don't know if it's 92313 or something. I have, I have no idea. But it's pretty cool that some of these little tiny towns have their own postal services. Or postal zips. You know what I'm saying, postal codes. Jeez Louise. so shaky. But oh, hold on, okay. All right, we had to pull over for a second to take that call. Who takes the call when it's from within? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's something seriously wrong with me. But we'll figure that out some other time. We got plenty of time to figure that one out. So, look at this. We are dealing with all this traffic cool. Not good, not good. It's actually not too bad, you guys, to be honest. We just passed Greenway. Greenway, yes, Greenway. I know that is so annoying. I need to screw it in a little tighter. Ah, uh, stop it. That's a little bit better. It's not rattling as much. But I need to screw that thing in a little bit. Ah, I love this weather. My favorite Mexican place up here. Cocina de Mexico. Very good place. The owners are awesome and that place has been here for a long time. It's, it's, it's a staple up here to tell you the truth. You guys should go there. 
And then up here, my good friend Sahil owns Bear City Smoke Shop. He's such a nice guy, you guys. You guys need to go in there and, and buy everything from them. They are the sweetest people. Um, he, he's he got a little daughter he's trying to you know support too. And, and he's just always working, always working. The guy is a wonderful human being. But yeah, I believe we, we, we just passed his place back there on the right hand side. But yeah, it's uh, Bear City Smoke Shop, I believe is what it's called. When you're going th that way, turning around, it's on the left hand side. It's a two story building and he's like the whole bottom floor. He's got everything you guys could ever think of. Like er everything that the smoke shops down the hill have, he has and then some, it's crazy. He's got so much stuff. So yeah, go support Sahil. Cool dude, man, cool dude. Anyway, yeah, so, yes, yes, yes. Let's see. This is Dead Man's Curve, you guys. You can see why. I, I guess you can't really see too much why, but yeah. Anyway. It's a little bit on the slick side, folks. Yes, it sure is. I need to go check into that suite. I'm super bummed, man, that we're not there yet. What is going on, folks? I'm very bummed, my friend. I wanted to get it done. All right, here we go. Hang on, I gotta turn it off for a second. In a second, I gotta turn it off for a second. We're on Big Bear Boulevard, about to pass Chippendale Street. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that guy just blew by his street. What's he thinking, pal? All right, I'll be right there. Hang on, guys, gotta shut off. All right, we had to stop here for a minute, and now we're headed to Moon Ridge, folks. Oops, I was gonna pull in front of this guy, but this guy's driving like a champ. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. People think they can go in front of me. I don't think so. Not. Not up in here. <laughs> Not up in here. That's such a funny scene from uh, The Hangover. <laughs> oh man, I, I think I, I'm too easily, I'm easily amused, unfortunately. So this a little problem I have. I got a little problem. I don't know what to do about it. What's she talking? Guys, this is insane. That's a that's a sledding park right there that you guys can pay to go for, or to pay to go for. Oh my gosh, look at this. Listen to my English here. Um, but yeah, it's on the corner of Division Road and Big Bear Boulevard. trying to call who is bringing through over here is one of my favorite parts of town when we got snow roll down the window right there it's just that big prairie or prairie area you guys but I find it to be so beautiful hey it got John Travolta in here hey it's so beautiful no no that's Christopher Walken hey no. <laughs> Don't. Stop. <laughs> uh, guys, this is that place I tell you don't sled because you'll get a, in a lot of, you'll, you'll get a ticket. Every 50 feet, there's a big sign with writing like that that says no parking anytime. Oh, 50 feet further, no parking anytime. And then obviously when there's no place to park, they don't, put, they don't put the signs there because there's no place to park unless you want to drive into the lake when there's water on that side. But anyway, this is so awesome. I am so excited about this. Call. Oh, sorry about that. I had to cut the video. 
off while we're crossing into Big Bear City, but that's okay. We're going here to the juice factory to get some choo-choo. Mm -hmm. Strawberry banana smoothie up in here. I'm looking forward to that. And then I'll do a little more video through Moon Ridge and then I'll upload it. Peace out, guys. All right, we're in the Stater Brothers parking lot. We just left the juice place. Got myself a you, a you. I'm not waiting. I can't wait for you, lady. I wish I could, but I can't. I'll wait for this guy, though. Or right, he's not waiting for me. Nobody's waiting for anybody. So when we have weather like this, I like to stay at the top of this hill up here for the most part so we don't start sliding down into cars ahead of us. So we're gonna stay up here. Sorry, I had to have someone, you know, let me know when they're ready. You know, that, that should be a, a pretty obvious thing, but it, it ain't, man. Okay, here's some grocery stuff. Here's Bonds. Bonds and Petco and Vetco and Ponds. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, serious issues. Snowplow operations in effect, you guys, be careful. that sizzler can you believe it i've never eaten there and i live right across the street from it almost catty corner from it we're getting these uh these big fat snowflakes now i love it 28 degrees 260 miles till empty, <laughs> 4 p.m. So we're not gonna go into Moon Ridge because I'm not hearing back from this person, so we're just gonna go to the hotel. We can uh, check out last, last. We're gonna cut right through here. Whop, 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 whop. All right, yeah, boy. Take these side streets all the way into the village. We're fine. I just, this guy is just being such a barney. He has to go so fast. I'm supposed to be on fast. I'm just kidding. You can't see Snow Summit, I would have showed you guys. It's snowing too hard. It's a good problem to have. So we're on Brownie Lane. 
I know there's a whole bunch of kids that live right around here. Okay, here's the snow summit. Exit street, thrush. Look at that snow, guys. It's so pretty. That's not pretty, though. These guys. Oh, man. Bomber, dude. Oh, no, that's just chains. My bad. Still a bomber, dude. So we're running parallel to all the traffic on Big Bear Boulevard over there. Over there, folks. Now we're gonna make a left here on Wren. W-R-E-N. So from Brownie to Wren. And hopefully we can stop. Oh, 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 losing control, losing control, but we're good, we regained. Here we go. Then we're going to want to turn right here at this street here. <coughs> I forgot what it's called, McWhitney. Just take heed to the, some of the, the ditches on the side of the road once we get up here to the turn where it turns left. You can't see the ditches when there's a good amount of snow and they're pretty deep. But this is the best shortcut to take. Sorry about that. Now this is oak. Look at how beautiful that is, man. Oh my gosh, just untouched. Untouched. Then this is gonna take us to Jeffries, and then we're gonna turn left on Jeffries and right on Pennsylvania. It's already turning into winter on that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's try to run this person over if we can. Just kidding, guys. I'm joking. Yeah, we never run someone over. Yes, I would. All depends on the circumstances. Pennsylvania. Then we gotta go in the village here. Guys, this has been a nice back route here, huh? So we're gonna enter the village right here. And we stay straight, because we're gonna be at the other end of the village, at the hotel.
my gosh, it's so dead. This is freaking lovely. Some people need a sign that says go on the stop sign at some point. They're starting you at $14.50 per hour at Jack in the Box up here, you guys. You guys should come up here. Here's where we're staying. We're gonna go check in right now. So excited guys. There's no one here. This is incredible. <laughs> There's no one here. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're, we're just gonna park right here for a second to check in. Hang on, look at how beautiful that is. Alright, so dude, that hotel was super expensive. It was a little more than, than I thought I had, I had agreed to, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll be good. So we're headed back to Moon Ridge. And I need to get this video put together. So we're gonna have to shut it down pretty soon here. Alright guys, peace out. We gotta stop this video right now. I think we do. It's gonna take forever to upload this one. The longer we go, the longer it's gonna take to upload. That's alright, we'll, we'll, we'll go for a little bit more. So we took the side street to the village from Moon Ridge and we're taking the main streets back that way. traffic there's just cars driving like 10 miles an hour but I don't want to give them the old train horn oh my gosh look at this we're gonna turn right here oh that was very nice of you Nice people letting people over. You gotta love that. Great. This guy's completely lost. He's 
he's got chains on. That's, that's always not a good recipe. But as long as he's having fun. Because when it becomes an issue is when people stress out. It's like, you know what guys, if you're sliding on the road, like, have fun with it. Enjoy it. <laughs> I know that sounds a little nutty, but it's, I'm ethereal. I'm super ethereal. Out. We're gonna. This is gonna be a long video. It's 4:20. Yeah.